Got the news today that Joaquin Phoenix said something apparently at the BAFTAs, which is the British Movie Awards, that wasn't really so cool with some people. I'm going to take a look at it now. You guys, of course, let me know what you think down below. Joker actor Joaquin Phoenix, BAFTA sends a very clear message to people of color that you're not welcome here. Let's see exactly what this is about. In news that is sure to make fervent supporters of the Joker movie cringe or roll their eyes, Joaquin Phoenix called out systematic racism when accepting Best Actor for Arthur Fleck at the British Academy Film Awards. Phoenix said he felt conflicted other talented actors of color don't have the same privilege and that he is part of the problem. So, this is kind of similar to what Brie Larson said about how minorities need more chances in movies, but the thing is, if they really want to give them those chances, if they really feel heart felt bad, then what they can do is they can step down and give their roles to those people. But, it just seems like we have roles filled for everybody these days. I don't really see where the whole thing's coming from. Now maybe Hollywood can be more diverse. I get that, but we don't need actors preaching about it. Here's the other problem. I really like Joaquin Phoenix, and we just got the news that Ewan McGregor said that Birds of Prey is a feminist movie against misogyny. And the thing is, I don't really think these actors are talking on their own behalfs. Think about it. These actors all come from diverse parts of the world, different parts of the world, different backgrounds, they grew up in different places. Do you think coincidentally, right now, at this point in time, between 2015 and 2020, they just happen to all want to preach this same message about diversity and feminism? I don't think so. I think somebody up top is asking them to say these things, and I honestly don't believe Ian McGregor and Joaquin Phoenix from the heart believe this stuff in the way that they're saying it. Again, diversity is a great thing. Feminism in the right way is a great thing. But I don't think these actors would feel the need to press it and force it at award shows and interviews and things like this. I just think the way they're acting is a little suspicious and I just want to know more before I just start calling out and hating every act that says something like this. I mean, after all, these people are basically their employers. Hollywood must be something like being here on YouTube, okay? Everyone's pretty tightly connected. When you say one thing, everyone knows about it. So it's really hard to kind of work out of that circle. And of course, you keep hearing this, oh, they're in a bubble. And yes, they definitely are in a bubble, but I don't think it's all their faults. I think some of them are stuck in that bubble. They have to be there. It's like part of the business right now. So... Again, I'm not just going to hate on Joaquin Phoenix because I just really doubt this is his personal message. So let's take a look at what he actually says. Phoenix stated at BAFTA, I feel very honored and privileged to be here tonight. BAFTAs have always been supportive of my career and I'm deeply appreciative. He continued, but I have to say I feel conflicted because so many of my fellow actors that are deserving don't have that same privilege. I think that we send a very clear message to people of color that you're not welcome here. I think that's the message that we are sending to people that have contributed so much to our medium and our industry and in ways that we benefit from. He added, I don't think anybody wants a handout or preferential treatment, although that's what we give ourselves every year. People just want to be acknowledged, appreciated, and respected for their work. This is not a self-righteous condemnation because I'm ashamed to say I'm part of the problem. I have not done everything in my power to ensure the sets I work on are inclusive. He concluded by saying, but I think it's more than just having sets that are multicultural. I think that we have to really do the hard work to truly understand systematic racism. I think that is the obligation of the people that we have created and perpetuate and benefit from a system of oppression to be the ones that dismantle it. So that's on us. Here's the thing. I'm a bit of a linguist. I speak two languages. I think about words all the time and I don't like a word like oppression, okay? What oppression means is prolonged, cruel, or unjust treatment or exercise of authority, okay? So, you know, an example, a region shattered by oppression and killing, something like that, something devastating, okay? So, let's say, hypothetically, there was a bunch of Hollywood people keeping out diversity and inclusiveness. That doesn't necessarily mean these people are oppressed, okay? It might not be fair, the system might be rigged. There might be some people who have control of the system who 
aren't exactly dividing things evenly, but that's not oppression, okay? Oppression is poverty, it's starvation, it's dictatorship, it's something like this. So I don't like when people use stupid words like that. Anyway, that's my opinion on oppression, but, you know, according to this, and according to probably have you've heard it used in your life, I don't really think it's about the movie industry and portioning out diversity in Hollywood. Then we have Ricky Gervais tweeting out, very proud of all these actors calling out the lack of diversity at award shows. I bet if they'd have known the nominations in advance, they wouldn't have even turned up in hope of winning themselves. So, you know what? Yeah, why didn't he just stay home and say, you know what, it's not diverse enough. I'm taking a stand. I will not accept the award. Don't come up there and make some speech about diversity because if you do, it makes it seem a little bit more fake, a little bit more planned. Like what I said before, how it's probably not his own personal feelings, it's somebody asking him to make that speech after he gets the award. So, that's another good thing to say. You don't have to, well, go to the extreme of giving away your actor role, but why not just skip the award show? Interesting point. And Ricky also said, we know there is no effing best actor among us. And yeah, good point. There's no best actor. It's kind of a silly thing to begin with. I gotta drive this point home is that I'm not hating on Joaquin Phoenix or even Ewan McGregor. I'm just kind of pointing out what they're doing doesn't feel genuine to me. It doesn't feel like something that should be done at this time and at this place. I'm not gonna boycott their movies. I'm not gonna hate on them. I'm not gonna call them woke or any of that bullshit. So I just want that to be totally clear. Because, you know, I seem a little edgy, a little irritated, but it's not at them. Okay? I, I just don't believe that they are the ones who are really, really pushing for this, personally. I got no evidence on that. That's the theory end of it. But, like I said before, it doesn't make sense that we have all these different actors and actresses from all different places and backgrounds in the world who conveniently and coincidentally want to push this message. Anyway, let's do a shout out. Shout out to Shadow Man. Thank you very much for following me on Twitter. And he subscribed to the channel, so thank you for that. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, click that subscribe button, press it, smash it, whatever to do to get subscribed. I'm doing shout outs, pop culture, actors, Star Wars, all that kind of thing. And I'm ending it here. See you next time.